Are you ready to be empowered with hope, faith, and confidence to believe in yourself, to overcome your fears and battle through every challenge and bully you face, both real and in your mind? Are you ready to learn life-changing strategies on how to develop the right mindset and positive mental attitude to courageously stand out in the crowd and be who you were born to be? Well, you've come to the right place. Welcome to the Building Warrior Confidence Podcast. Greetings and welcome to another uplifting, life-changing episode of the Building Warrior Confidence Podcast. I'm your host, Master Rich Grogan, and I'm truly grateful for your time today, as always. Hey, if you're new to the show and this is your first time, then welcome to the show, baby. Yeah, what took you so long? (laughs) And of course, if you've been here and you're back for more, welcome back for another round of Warrior Confidence Power. Boom! And I love saying that. I also love that intro, too. Well, good stuff. Well, as always, I promise I'm going to do everything I can to give you everything I can to make sure our time together is empowering, valuable, enjoyable, and most importantly, educational. So how are you doing today? Well, hopefully you're having a great day and that this episode makes it even better. And if you're not having a great day, then I'm hopeful this episode is exactly what you need to turn your day around. So what are we talking about today? Well, let me tease you as always. How about this? When's the last time you tried something new? When's the last time you even thought or considered trying something new? And when you did that, what did you find was the hardest step? Also, think about this. Think about our kids. You know, we're we're seasoned, right? We're not old. We just got a little bit of experience and wisdom. We're seasoned, like fine wine. Oh, yeah. But my point is, if when you go to try something new, or when you consider trying something new, when you think about doing something new, what, how do you feel? What's the hardest step? What goes through your mind? Now, as you're thinking about that, think about how much more difficult it was when you were younger. Now, think about your kids or your athletes. Woo, man, oh, man. That's tough, isn't it? Wowzers. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we get into it, just a reminder, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And make sure you listen to previous episodes. And, of course, we love those five-star reviews. They help out tremendously in moving the podcast up uh, in, in search engines so people can find it quicker. And then, obviously, we can build our tribe, our tribe of warrior-confident, bully-proof awesome rock stars who are doing what they can to make the world a happier, healthier, and safer place to live. So make sure you do those couple things. And then uh, if you have not subscribed and checked out our YouTube channel, it's at Warrior Confidence. It's all one word, W-A-R-R-I-O-R-C-O-N-F-I-D-E-N-C-E. And there'll be a link in the description. Man, get on our YouTube channel so you can not only hear the message, but you can see uh, the message. And I hired a company that does an incredible job with adding uh, the big pop-up words and music behind the screen and video images, and it's fantastic. So make sure you jump on over there when you're done here. Well, enough of that. Let's dive into today's show. This is episode number 341, and it's our Feel Good Friday Warrior Confidence Weekend Challenge. And the title is, A Journey of a Thousand Miles Starts with What? Well, you know what it starts with. One bold, confident step. And I asked you just a little bit ago, when's the last time you tried something new? And when's the last time you even thought or considered trying something new? And what did you find was the hardest step? So when's the last time you tried something new? Well, I'll share it with you. Uh, the last time I tried something new, I, I tried something, I don't say new every single day, but uh, I'm back on the ice again. I Those that follow the show know that I, I played competitive hockey for a long time, and then as I was building the Martial Arts Academy, I kind of slipped to the back burner, and before I knew it, 22 years had gone by since I played competitively. Well, I'm out there again, and even though it wasn't something brand new, and still, you know, you, you, you get out there, and I'm 52 years old now, and I was playing in a, a 30 and older league. Well, he's supposed to be 30 and older. We had several 20-year-olds out there playing, and it was kind of cool because uh, a handful of them actually played uh, professional hockey, so that was, was kind of cool. And uh, so that was tough. You know, it was kind of new getting back out there. And then uh, consider trying something new. Well, another thing, I, I've always worked out. I was a personal fitness trainer and taught aerobics and obviously with a martial arts academy. But oftentimes you get wrapped up with the business side of things, or at least I did, and sometimes you forget about working out and yourself. So I've uh, got back on it now on a good workout program. So once again, that's maybe not something brand new, but we moved to a new state that was brand new. That was tough. We had to think about it, not a lot to consider. And then obviously with all of that, what was the hardest step? That first one. 
the first step is the absolute hardest step. That first bold, massive, courageous, empowering first step that seems so daunting. It seems so scary. It seems so, I can't do this. But you do it. And then is the next step any easier? Well, here's the truth. The first step is always the hardest. Almost like if you've ever had to push a car before. If you've ever had to push a car, holy smokes. It's like, Ugh! trying to get that thing you know, moving, trying to push it, get it going. Now, once you get it going, it's considerably easier, but it's still difficult. It's still tough. But that second step, that third step, that fourth step are going to be much, much easier than that first hardest step. And, you know, the journey of a thousand miles starts with that first step and then that first foot and then that first yard and then that first mile and so on and so on. Well, I bring all this up because maybe there's something that you – Man, you just want to do. There's something that's been on your mind. Something you said, I'm going to do this. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's a, a you know a, a new relationship. Maybe it's something new for your kids. And yeah, maybe in getting them involved in a sport. Or maybe you're like me. You you played hockey or you played baseball or football, and it's been a number of years. Or maybe you're a mom out there and um, you're you want to get your son or daughter into into martial arts. Or maybe your daughter into to cheerleading or pom pom. Or right, get them into field hockey, get them into soccer, and maybe you played those sports as as a kid, or maybe it's been a few years, and you're thinking about I'd like to get back into coaching again. Yeah, or maybe I'd like to go back and get a master's degree. Maybe I'd like to start a business. Wow, maybe I'd like to maybe I'd like to write a book. Well, you've got something. What 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 is it? And you're probably, oh my gosh, now you got my my brain really thinking and rolling and what what what, what should I do? What should I do? Well, first thing, write it down. Because Zig Ziglar always said you can't hit a target you can't see. So the first most powerful thing you do, and that could be your first step, writing that goal, writing that vision, writing whatever it is that you want to do for yourself or your kids or somebody else, write it down. Now, I, I bring all this up because I often, you know, talk about what we can do to help our kids. Well, our kids watch us, right? They, they pick up on everything. Oftentimes, uh, they pick up more of the you know things we wish they wouldn't than they do the good things, right? <laughs> but they're watching. And if you set a goal, you say, I'm going to do this thing, and then you actually take that step and you do it, you're actually going to empower them. And then that's also a great conversation tool. And, uh, you know, you, one of the things I talk about all the time is keeping that communication chain open with your kiddos. And if you've got young kids, make sure – that that communication chain or channel, chain, whatever you want to call it, is opened early and let them know they can come to you and encourage them to come to you for small problems. Because as they get older, you know, if they, they couldn't come to you for small problems, then there's no way they're going to come to you for larger problems. And I promise you, you know, I've got three kids of my own, 23, 20, and 14, and they're wonderful, but they had their problems, struggles, troubles, everything I tried to do to help them avoid it. Just like when I was younger, I made mistakes. Just like when you were younger, you probably made mistakes. But I really didn't have a great uh, um, communication channel with my my parents. Something I wish I would have, but it just it just wasn't theirs. No, no, nobody's fault. It wasn't their fault. They always said, "Come to me, come talk to me," but I, I didn't, and they didn't really pressure me to do it. And I'm saying you know, pressure is maybe a strong word, but talk to your kids. Keep that channel open, regardless of what it is. And if they're teenagers, oh, it's too late. They're teenagers. No, no, it's not. And I'm telling you what. A great thing to do is to take on a challenge yourself. Maybe you've been thinking about you know getting back into the gym, getting in better shape, losing some weight, playing on that athletic or sports team I talked about, or maybe I don't know, just uh, um, uh, hosting a an event over at your house. Whatever, take that first step. Write it down. Say you're going to do it. Take that massive, hardest first journey of a thousand miles first step, and do it. And then let your kids know. And then encourage them to do something. And that's another way to open up that communication channel. It's like, well, is there something you thought about doing or you would like to do? And, of course, if your kid's a preteen or a teen, they're going to say, I don't know. Well, what do you mean you don't know? I don't know. Do you want to do anything? I don't know. <laughs> so those who's got teenagers or had teenagers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, keep plugging away. Get those I don't knows to, to at least get an answer of some sort. But uh, as I mentioned, this is our, our, our quick hitter. It's the weekend challenge. I try and keep this baby under 20 minutes. Uh, but I'm giving you plenty of examples here. Why? Because it's it's our feel-good Friday. I want you to feel good. And uh, here's the feel-good part. 
wherever you're at today, you had to overcome challenges, battles, struggles. You've had to pick yourself back up to be where you're at today. Now, you may not be in the exact location you want to be. You, uh, you may not be exactly where you want to be in your career or in your life or in your relationship or with your communication channel with your kiddos, but you are much further along than you were yesterday, last week, last month, last year, and you've overcome the challenges. And I bring that up because that's something you should feel good about. And they use that encouragement, that feel-good Friday, to drive and push you to try something new this weekend. You know, make sure it's fairly safe. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I say fairly safe, you know. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's many, many ways we can uh, do something, be bold and massive, courageous step, and get ourselves hurt or worse. I'm not saying do something completely crazy. But I am saying challenge yourself. Try something new. And the first and best thing you can do is actually write it down what you want to do. Because once you see it, once pen hits paper, that's where the magic happens. Getting it out of your head on paper and seeing that, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to go to the gym today. I am going to uh, start eating better. I am going to go to the grocery store and buy healthier food. I am going to host a party and have friends over. Yeah, I am going to sign up for that, that softball league I've been talking about doing. I am going to go out and have, uh, here we go, dads, a daddy-daughter night with my, with my daughter or just a dad-son night or a mom and daughter or a mom and son night. Do it. Write it down. Get her done. That first step's the hardest. But hearing me say it over and over and over again, hopefully you're like, all right. Now, as I mentioned, I always encourage you to go back and listen to our episodes more than once simply because you're always going to pick up something that you missed the first time and try and cram as much in as I can in a short amount of time. And I know I talk fast <laughs> to try and cram it all in there. But I value your time and I want to make sure it's all valuable and you get so much out of each episode. And then, of course, when you're done with this episode, listen to previous ones, and you can listen to them over again. And then I always encourage you, obviously, to share these episodes, if you found value in them, that is. Share them with someone else that you know could benefit. And that's collectively. I mean, you think about it. it when somebody shares something with you, and you're like, man, I am so glad. Thank you very much for sharing that. That really helped me. I really needed to hear that message today. How does that make uh, uh, makes you feel good that somebody shared it with you? But how does that make that person feel? makes them feel good, too, because they know they have helped you out. Well, you've got the same uh, abilities, obviously, to help others out. So share. But before you share, most importantly, get something written down. Write down, you know, success from the past. Yeah, I've battled through all the challenges. I've had it rough. I've had it tough. But I've overcame. I've battled through. I've succeeded. I'm here today. And you know what? I'm not done yet, baby. No. Until you're in the grave, six feet under, and the casket's closed and dirt's on top of you, you're not done yet. There's more to accomplish. And, of course, I want the rest of your life to be what? the best of your life. I call that your best kick in life because life has tried to kick your butt and you say, uh-uh, I'm kicking back. I'm firing back. I'm getting back up and fighting another round because I'm living my best kick in life. I'm kicking life's butt instead of it kicking my butt. So a journey of a thousand miles starts with what? You know what it starts with. One bold, courageous, confident step. And that big step starts with writing down whatever goal you may have for yourself or whatever new thing you've thought about and wanted to do. And it, it might be just reaching out and connecting with a, a, a friend or a loved one that you haven't spoken with in a while. Maybe it's your parent. Yeah. I know I I, every time I need to do a little better job of calling my parents. And it, it, once again, it's not that I, I don't love them. I love them. And I'm so blessed and grateful they're you know still with us. But a lot of times that day gets wrapped up. And what I know is what gets written down generally gets done. What doesn't get written down gets forgotten. Think about that. Woo. There's another right hook of reality. Good, good, good. Well, I promise to keep it short and sweet. That's what I do on the, the Friday, Feel Good Fridays. And then, of course, we've got other episodes coming out on Monday. And uh, I want to apologize. I told a little bit of a fib. I was going to start or try to start this week doing three episodes a week. But a uh, um, little hiccup, no big deal. We're going to battle through, overcome, succeed. So we're going to shoot for July and possibly August to start having three episodes. And that time, also going to start having some guests on as well. And the plan is, just teasing you in advance here, the plan is to have a guest on Monday, so to be 
kind of motivational Monday spotlight show where I'll have a guest on and they'll talk about uh, their knowledge, their wisdom, and their expertise and whatever they're doing to well, defeat the bully within, to develop that warrior confidence, to stand out from the crowd, to empower others. So that's going to be the show on Mondays. And then Wednesdays will be the Wisdom Wednesday, the Warrior Confidence Wisdom Wednesday. And I'm going to dive into some of my old uh, journals and books and uh, workshops I've been to and the thousands of notes I've got in Evernote and just dig out some things that uh, uh, I've done or s- learned in the past to, to hopefully help empower you and your kids and listen who, who was ever listening to the show and therefore you'll have that knowledge and that wisdom and then the Friday one still, still the same I love that feel good Friday uh, I call it the warrior confidence weekend challenge just a short little show under 20 minutes giving you uh, uh, like this one a journey of a thousand miles starts with what that one bull confidence step and that starts with writing it down so that's it's going to feel good on something that you've done to reflect on in the past that made you feel good and to use that feel good to drive you forward to take on that weekend challenge and uh, continue those good vibes by continuing to accomplish more and more and uh, man when you're able to check stuff off the 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 to-do list or check that box or accomplish something that you've been wanting to do for some time man is i mean nothing makes you feel better right and when you do it that like you know what i did it i can do more and that's the whole idea and goal behind that so good stuff. Well, as always, make sure, uh, you know, please subscribe, five-star review, jump on over a YouTube channel and check that baby out. And then, of course, jump on to our website, too. It's uh, Grogan's Bullyproof, uh, all one word as, as everything, grogansbullyproof.com. And you can also get there by uh, warriorconfidence.com. We've got that link up as well now. And all those uh, links will be in the description, so you can check those out. And just a reminder, new programs that are coming out, uh, the first one, we're working on uh, – kind of the becoming bullyproof gaining the warrior confidence that belief in yourself to become bullyproof and that's for kids to help number one defeat the bully in their mind the, the meanest bully we ever faced in order to be empowered to defeat any bully or challenge they have in the real world and real life and uh, the second one after we get that one knocked out and uh, uh good to go is going to be something similar but it's going to be for athletes to help them they want to improve their uh, performance on the field and build their self-confidence and have belief in themselves because uh, athletes uh, have been you know blessed to be an athlete uh, my whole life and i combine that with martial arts so i can kind of have the best of both worlds but it's for the athletes and uh, they talk about baseball a lot baseball players you think they uh, if they fail 70 percent of the time and only succeed 30 percent of the time at hitting that's a 300 average then they're making bank in the MLB, Major League Baseball. So you, you, baseball, you fail so many times, and it's really hard to keep your confidence up. Well, the same hockey goalies. You know, they, 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 I don't know, they stop 49 shots, and then they let one in, and they lose one nothing. Well, it looks like the goalie didn't do his job. Well, they got to, with goalies and the confidence, got to remind them, look, man, you, you made 49 saves for crying out loud. Your team's got to work together. It doesn't mean you pass the buck and the blame, but it means we got to make sure I can uh, kind of part of the program is empowering them to keep up, to stay up, to stay motivated, to stay confident, keep believing in themselves and not let themselves get down. Because oftentimes when we get down, especially athletes, it's hard as heck to get back up. You start second guessing and second doubting everything you do, and you start bullying and beating yourself up. And essentially all the programs are all about defeating the bully within, within your own mind, to be empowered with that warrior confidence, to believe in yourself, to overcome any bully, challenge, fear, struggle you're going through. And the other program is going to be similar to both of those, but it's going to be for uh, coaches. And uh, obviously parents could definitely use this one too, but for coaches and leaders and teachers and the, and uh, professional athletes to help them overcome their struggles as well. So good, good, good. A lot of good stuff coming out. So stay with us. And uh, um, if you don't have a copy of Becoming Bullyproof or I Believe in Me, the A through Z positive affirmations for you and your kids, jump on over to Amazon. Just type in my name, Rich Grogan. It'll pop up. Grab a copy of both of those. Uh, Becoming Bullyproof is actually now in three formats. It's in uh, uh, paperback, it's in Kindle, and it's also Audible. I did the recording uh, myself, so I always like when authors record their own books, so you can check those out. Sounds good. All right. Well, quick recap, real quick, because we're almost over on time here. Journey of a 1,000 Miles starts with what? That one bold, courageous, confident step that you're going to take this weekend, feeding off your previous success to empower you to take that next big, bold, massive step. You can do it. I believe in you. I want you to believe in you. And I want your kids to believe in you. And, of course, the more people that believe in themselves, the happier people are. The happier people are, the healthier, happier, safer our society is because happy, healthy people do what they can to help out others. Happy, healthy people aren't doing 
mean, cruel, rude uh, uh, gestures or bullying others. They're helping, right? Yeah, kindness matters. Well, as always, thank you so very much for listening. I'm truly grateful for your time, and I, I really hope you found value in this message, and I hope is exactly what you needed today to gain that extra confidence, that belief in yourself, to courageously stand out in the crowd and take on any challenge, fear, struggle, or bully you're facing, both real and in your mind. I love you. God loves you. Please share that love with the world. And until we talk again, keep believing in yourself. Keep Keep, keep, keep building. There we go, tongue tied. Keep building your warrior confidence. And most importantly, you get out there and do what you do best. And I promise you'll be your very best. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. Can't wait to chat with you again real soon. Have a blessed day, everybody. Thanks again for listening. Bye bye. Thank you so very much for listening today. I am truly grateful. My goal is to empower millions of people with hope, faith, and confidence to believe in themselves in order to make our society a happier, healthier, and safer place to live. But I can't do it alone. So if you found value in this message, please share it with someone else who could benefit from it and by subscribing and leaving a five-star review. Be sure to pick up copies of my books for yourself and someone you care about at www.warriorconfidence.com. Also remember to stay empowered throughout the week by subscribing to our YouTube channel and our Facebook and Instagram pages at Warrior Confidence. Thank you again and have a blessed day.